What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is an avenue to make the interior for your Chuck E. Cheese. Now, uh, I did cut it close with space on this one, I do talk about, uh, stuff with that later. Um, I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a doozy, uh, long tutorial. I didn't actually think I was going to be able to get this out before, uh, before today. I thought I was going to have to get it on Sunday, but, uh, it worked out, so... That's good, but, um, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so these space movers, I am wearing pants. Let's get those off. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> a space movers says, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your Chuck E. Cheese exterior. Uh, buckle in, because this will probably be a long video. Uh, as you can probably tell from the time at the bottom, that may or may not be on your screen or not. Depends on what you're doing with those buttons. I don't know. But, um... What you want to do is you want to come inside and get out to start off gray concrete, which I might shortcut because I'm lazy. Uh, terracotta. I don't think we need. No, we don't. Okay. White terracotta. Let me see if I can think of these off the top of my head. Chances are slim, but they're possible. Black concrete. Light blue concrete. Smooth quartz blocks, you can use white concrete, I'm using smooth quartz just for the texture of it. Uh, pillar quartz blocks, you do need to use pillar quartz for that. Or you could use bone blocks, actually, so you don't have to. I personally like the pillar quartz better, though. Uh, spruce doors, and we'll just get, we'll just get a speak, that's what, get a speak. You know what, whatever. Starting off, uh, what you want to do is you want to break your entire grass floor and replace it with gray concrete. Or alternatively, you come to one corner, you figure out what this number is, because I don't know. I do not want that one open. That one doesn't do anything for, actually, probably ever at this point. Because we already did the thing that I needed it for, and I just don't delete things off my... I literally don't. I have like a million thumbnails still on my phone. <laughs> it's, it's not even funny. Although I am laughing, so it clearly is funny. Um, alrighty, and then you do, ah, uh, darn it, I thought, I thought I could, thought I could cheat, although it wouldn't actually do anything, because, load quicker, thank you, it wouldn't actually do anything, because the coordinates are different, although the, uh, Z's are the same, I think it's the Z's, yeah, it is, no, I don't want that one, I want the other one, and I believe if you're on Bedrock, the data interval number thing is 7? Let me see. It'll tell me. I know it'll tell me. If I do concrete, it'll be this number. 7, yeah. Okay. Let's go. I jumped on it. That was a thing. Anyways. Uh, you can take as long as you need on that. Uh, obviously, if you need it, I would recommend pausing the video. Or if you just want to do the same thing that I did, that also works. So, I literally just closed the thing that I needed. That wasn't very smart. Uh, I am lucky I didn't do this tomorrow or the next day. Because I said front right on my notes. I meant front left. <laughs> so, starting from the front left-hand corner of your building, the inside of your building, what you want to do is you want to count back by 23. And place a terracotta. I have anxiety issues, so I'm going to make sure that's correct. Uh, I really don't want to mess that up, because that is literally the first thing that we're doing. So if I mess it up, that will screw up the entire build by a block. But that block could be big, depending on which way I screw it up. Anyways, you then want to place moving right to spruce doors. Ah, that hurt. Then ten terracotta... Um, do I want to mark this? Sure, let's, actually no, don't do anything, because we'll figure that out later. Then move back with two, then get rid of your night vision for a second, get out oak wood planks, and place an oak wood plank behind that terracotta, 
And then behind that place, another terracotta. And then I think if you want, you can get rid of that. Because we still need everything else. So I'm just going to get rid of the oak wood planks again and get our night vision. Although I know we will still need it because of the stage. So if um, you have x-ray or night vision, with you could just do slash effect, I guess. That'd be a lot easier than having a potion. But I'm lazy. You don't want to bring this terracotta here right by 16. Forward four. Right three. Then you can place a spruce door. I'm going to again get rid of my night vision and get out birch door. Uh, actually, you can get rid of your gray concrete. Get, get rid of your gray concrete and replace that with birch door instead. That would probably be easier. Or oak wood planks. Whichever you prefer to do. And then again, depending on what your plan is. But you do want a birch door. What is that number? Five terracotta. Birch door and two terracotta. So you have this. Not seems fairly simple this space is all gonna be funzy fun zone that space is gonna be um pain because it's so small so if you have space moving back i would extend it if that is of interest to you my okay never mind i thought i was gonna go out because i thought i saw a flicker but i'm just tired apparently i don't know um but yeah that is something that you do want to keep in mind is the space is tight so if you have space to extend it sideways or backwards or whatever uh, I would. Again, up to you. You can do whatever you want to do with it, but I'm just giving suggestions. Like, if you're... If you have your doors and everything... Ah, that isn't... That isn't great concrete. Aha! Ah, I knew it was going to happen, too. It happens every single time. Uh, it's always, like, the last door. Or none of the doors. <laughs> but if you have space for the sides or anywhere, I would just give you a little bit. I'd just give it a little bit more. A little bit more breathing room. So, what you want to do is, is there are five terracotta between the two birch doors. You want to split all the way to the back. And then, so, this is kind of weird. And it's not going to make sense until later. But, you have your three rows of terracotta, or four terracotta, actually, to the left of your birch door. The third one moving left, so the second one moving right, you want to also bring this all the way to the back with terracotta. And it should give you this. Now, again, that doesn't really make sense right now why we have that doubled, but the stage has details on it, and I didn't want those details showing through the bathroom, and this also helps us with something else later. Which means that the orientation of which bathroom goes where matters for once, because it typically doesn't. Anyways, you can then place a, a single white terracotta on top of every single normal terracotta, and then anything else you want to leave alone. Uh, pr I promise we'll get to the... Uh Ceiling soon. We need a lot of materials, by the way, for the for like just in general for this, like a lot. I can't even think of all of them off the top of my head. I probably will forget some at some point. But just throwing that out there, there is a lot. So, um, be ready to do some fun things with that. Uh, you can then place a spruce door here on top of the single oak, singular oak wood plank, and you can get rid of your birch door and get out oak wood planks now, unless you already have them. So, what shall we do next? Okay, we're going to do some markings here. So, you have this little indent with the strange f door that's kind of sitting above the bottom of the wall. You have these two corners here. You want to break each white terracotta in the corner and replace it with a pillar quartz block. Preferably facing upwards, not sideways. Just like that. Uh, you don't need those. I just think that makes it look a little bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? I want to say smooth. Like, it makes it look a little bit more... It makes the change in the walls blend together better. That's what I was trying to say. I, I it, it came eventually. And then you can bring each one of those pillar quartz blocks up by a number that I actually have zero idea what it is. I'm going to be fully honest here. Four, I think. Something like that. Wait. Is it four? It might be three. I don't know. Just bring it up by, like, three or something. Right, I can figure it out. It is four. Okay. So, now we have a marking. And this, these two rows are going to be important, or these two columns are going to be important for this next step, which is the stage. Uh, so, you want to place a black concrete on top of this little uh, sta staple shape of, uh, bla of white terracotta. And then skip over the door, because the door is not useful. Um... Bumper or staple, whichever you want to call it. E neither of those really make sense, but it makes it interesting, so whatever. 
You then can place three rows of light blue concrete on top of that, and where you choose, just make little clouds. So how I'm going to make my clouds is I'm just going to do two smooth quartz blocks next to each other. Bring one of them, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, this one. And then bring that block outward by one. So it creates the shape. It's kind of like a dying Z. That is a very, very strange one, but whatever. <laughs> it's like it's like a scrunch, scrunched up Z, like a fancy Z. It's not very fancy at all. I wouldn't add them on the sides, actually. Sides are better blank, just because they're not big enough for it. I mean, if you want to have one up against the pillar quartz, you can. Or even, like, half of one going into a wall like this. Like, you can have it like this. And uh, make it look like it's, like, moving. Or you could even... If you're gonna do if you're gonna do something like that, you could have this one like peek out there. Like that. It's up to you. Play with us, see what you want to do. Uh I don't think I do I have space for one here? I might. I do. Although I don't know if that'll look too crowded. That's also what you have to avoid, being crowded. I think that's fine. Should be fine. If it isn't then oh well, thank you for that uh Discord. I should m mute my phone. There we go. Much better. Really, chinchillas. Then every single other white terracotta you want to bring up by four. And then each door also up with four with white terracotta. Not with doors. That would be interesting. And you can't even do that. It's like not a physical possible thing. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't play this game that often. <laughs> other than building, this is my first time being. Well, other than. Actually, I have not been on Minecraft today. Other than for a video. I haven't been on Minecraft in a while for other than a video. And a while could very well be Tuesday, because I don't remember what I did on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know, I don't keep track. I, I, I should just, like, have, like, a little journal. Like, this is what I did on Tuesday. I don't know. I know I wouldn't, I know I didn't, like, I wasn't on the PS4, like, at all on Wednesday. And then today, I've been on a little bit. Anyways, that's completely irrelevant, and really no one wants to hear about that. We want to keep moving on, so... Fill in this little crevice here in with oak wood planks. And then I would say extend it out, but I actually don't know what the number is because I don't take good notes. I take very sloppy notes in a way that I can understand it enough as long as I'm building it like quickly enough after I've done it. Also, you can get rid of your light blue concrete, I guess. And get out oak wood stairs. And with these stairs, what you want to do is... What is it? Okay. You want to bring each pillar quartz block out with four oak wood planks at the base. I lied. I do know the numbers. Just like that. And then you can, you can connect these little oak wood plank sticky outy thingies together in the middle. And then this will give you a square stage. If you want to keep it a square stage, by all means do it. It's not, yeah, not going to affect the position of the characters at all. So if you like the... Just rectangle, then go for it. You could even take a block off and it still wouldn't matter. Yeah, I don't actually know how far apart they are. I think they're two blocks apart. Anyways, come to the left side and moving from the wall, moving forward, you want to place two oak wood stairs facing left and then an oak wood plank. And then on the right side, just place three oak wood planks. And that should give you this. That looks lopsided. If you want to add more stairs there, you can. I actually wouldn't because it's so close to the bathroom and you don't want, uh, I don't know, a little like Timmy being like, okay, I'm going on the stage now. Although, I'd assume that there would probably be someone standing there like, no, you can't go here. Or there'd be something, I don't know, caution tape, although that doesn't stop a kid. <laughs> we'll figure that out soon enough. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to bring the middle, I don't know what the number is, 13 oakwood planks forward by one. God, I didn't know the number. So I'll just leave two off either side. Just like that. And that's your kind of kind of circular stage. It's not a very good circle, but I was trying to keep it, like, compact. Also, it does stick forward very far, which I'm just now noticing. So if you do want to push it back... Again, it doesn't matter. I actually think pushing it back would be better, because where they are right now, they're not even, like, under the little... <laughs> the little th actually, no, because the thing goes around the entire top of it. Never mind. But they're, like, not back. They're in front of the pillar courts. I think by one row. Yeah, oh, and I forgot this white terracotta from earlier. Oops, so you can just bring this up by four if you didn't, if you forgot like I did. Like my three brain cells did. Anyways, there you go. We're, did I do the, what? yeah, I did. So we're going to add one more wall, and then we're going to start working on our ceiling because I like light. 
I really enjoy light. And, we, you know, we kind of don't have any of that. Do I have this down? I do, actually. So, what you want to do is... That's surprising. You want to come to the terracotta... You want to come back to the back back rooms. Um, well, uh, reference. And you want to, from this terracotta, you want to count left, from my perspective, by six. That feels... No, that, that is right. You then could just bring this terracotta back by... Three. I actually did that perfect. <laughs> then a spruce door, and then five terracotta. I don't know how I got that perfect. And then place your four rows of white terracotta on top of that. Or it's actually five. It's five on the terracotta, and then four on the door. So it should all be the same height. Although I think you only need four for that one. Because I think that wall's shorter. Although I don't know about the back area. I actually think you do need it then. Because I think that area is... uh taller so what you can do now is clear your inventory and get out smooth quartz slabs and glowstone and also great concrete actually you know what let's get out more than just those three it didn't grab the glowstone please grab thank you uh it'd be funny if it didn't grab again so you need gray concrete stone bricks oak fence lanterns soul lanterns and chains. I think that's it. Yeah, well, we only have one spot, so if, even if it isn't it, oh well. So, if you want to fill in your ceilings, I'm going to tell you this right now. The main room is, what is it, five and a half? Four, four and a half blocks tall. Main room's four and a half blocks tall, I think. Does that sound right? Yeah. Stage is five with stone bricks, and then the gray concrete just travels directly on top of that. Everything else is... The, the other room, the bathrooms and the kitchen are f three and a half, I think. Are they three and a half? Hang on. It's gonna drive me crazy. It, they are not. They're four, and, okay, they're four and a half. So the main room's five and a half, I think. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. The main room's five and a half, stage is five, no, f yeah. Right? Right. Yeah, five technically, because the stage is raised a block. And then everything else is four and a half, except for this room, which is just a flat ceiling. So, for your patterns, what I would do is I would come in the kitchen first, and again, make sure you're at the second row down. I just want to place... I want to say the pattern for this was two rows of ups and on smooth quartz slabs on each side. It was it? Hang on. No, it was one on every side. Okay. That's good enough. It is nine four. This has already been 20 minutes. Actually... 20 minutes is ridiculous just for that. Uh, nice, I made a full block. And then it's glowstone, two upside down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two upside down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone. If you've watched any interior tutorial of mine from the past, uh, I don't even know how long, very long, you should know. I'm gonna get on night vision again just because, um, when we get to the areas where there are no lights, aka over there, it's gonna be not fun. So I want to make it a little bit more enjoyable, aka uh, allow you to use your eyes, because that's kind of a thing, kind of a thing that you might need to do for this. But yeah, there you go, there it is from an overhead, it kind of looks like a dice, a, one of those dice when they have six, no wait, six sides is, no, that's nine, I can't count, never, <laughs> and then the back room directly behind the stage, I just put ups and downs, move course ups flat, you'll see what we do with this in a minute, actually let's do it right now. So, once you do that, you do want to come inside of the room, and we're going to be doing something interesting with it. Uh, I'm actually going to make this corner back here, this one, this light blue concrete. I'm going to make it a smooth quartz block, just so it looks a little bit better from the side. And then, what I did was, in the, what is this? Back left hand corner, you want to count inward diagonally, hang on, I said, did I say that wrong? Forward diagonally to the right by one along the ceiling and place another Right no and then back by one sorry and then place a uh, Another up stone slab along the ceiling and then just leave like a seven block gap and place another one Or you could leave an eight block gap so there's two and it's centered although I think I had a third one at the end of the hall Let me see that's the wrong way Um, I was in the kitchen. I should have figured it out. No, I don't actually I only have the two and then I just bring each block down with a chain and a soul lantern. This just makes it look really ominous. I don't know why I did this. But, I mean, it's a room behind a stage. I don't really think it wants you want it to be, like, all bright and happy. 
It's probably just for, like, Tom and his friends. I don't know. I don't know what it's used for. And then, um, same thing in the bathrooms. Four and a half block tall ceiling. Same as the kitchen, I mean, not anything else. Uh, I did two rows on the sides. I think one slab at the front and back. Did that work? Does that work? Yes, it does. And then the main room is not going to be fun at all. I'm just going to say. Just gonna get that out of the way. Yeah, that, just get that off my chest. You know, it's not gonna be fun at all. Um, but yeah, this this took me a while, so I uh, I hope you people enjoy this one because th this one this one was probably the worst timing. Uh, I'll get into that when we're doing the next ceiling. So then, what you can do is along the ceiling, basically just right up against the top of a white terracotta, just make a gray concrete outline near stage. So from this white terracotta to the left, the quartz block, three gray concrete moving out. Four diagonally, right one, right one, four diagonally, right one, right twelve. Backward diagonally, right one, right one, back diagonally, right one, back two, and that'll give you this. I know I did that very quickly. And then what you want to do is you want to place stone bricks as you're sealing a block above the gray concrete. I did a full block this time because there's thingies here. You know, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? The thingies, yes. My favorite. My personal absolute favorite, the thingies. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> it's too late for this. It's not even that late. It's 9.45. That's not that late. <laughs> I mean, the first school night is not fun, but, you know, especially since we're not even close to done. Uh, well, I guess you can see how close we are to done from the video title, but what you, I don't have, what? Where did it go? Hang on. There, there it is. Never mind. I found it. Um, so in the back center, we'll say along the ceiling a block for, I think I actually made this cloud directly in the center. It should line up with the white terracotta there in the middle of it. You want to count four to block and place an oak fence and then leave a, what, three block at moving forward and place another one or maybe four. I do, th I'll do three. And then, what is it? Like five blocks? Hang on. I think it's a five, yeah, it's a five. Four block at moving left and right from each one of these. Uh, you can do either. It doesn't actually matter. But uh, I'm just going to do four for the purpose of this. And then place a lantern on each one. Not a soul lantern. A lantern. Just a normal, average, generic Minecraft lantern. I actually like the look of the soul lanterns better. But the lanterns are better for cosmetics. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Also, that looks actually kind of cool. I should have left it like that. But I built the roof after I built the other roof. If that makes sense. So then you could do the same pattern you did uh, for the other rooms out here, except it wants to be five and a half blocks. So line it up. It's the second, yeah, second row of white terracotta above the windows, if that helps. Uh, I just kicked something. Oops. Uh, what was the pattern? I actually don't remember. Uh, I don't have a picture of it, do I? No, but I know there's a center block. That helps. <laughs> that was sarcastic. That doesn't help at all. Um, I'll say, hang on. I want to say it was two on each side. Two rows of upside down smooth quartz slabs of the front, left, and right. Maybe the back. Let me see. Let me see if that's right. If it's right on one side, I know it's right on both. I'm almost, actually, I'm almost positive that's correct. And then it's just your glowstone, two upside down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two upside down smooth quartz slabs, etc. And then it's going to go from side to side, and it should be twos, yes, which is correct, at least on my side. Could be different on yours, but um, it just depends. Depends on, depends on what you want to do, is what I was trying to say for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> It'd be funny if the video wasn't even 10 minutes long at this point, but it's been like 30, and I'm getting more tired, which is fun, but oh well. I kind of can't, I would record this like tomorrow, but I like, can't. Unless school gets cancelled, which could happen, because we're supposed to have a flood tomorrow, which is great. Which is the day you're probably seeing this, unless something goes horribly wrong and you don't see this until s Halloween, which will be pretty epic. Uh, the spooky day. Uh, actually, that that wouldn't be epic. That would destroy, that would probably decimate the views. <laughs> well, no, because my timing isn't bad, and Halloween's on a Sunday, so maybe that would actually be better for my view, I don't know. Other than these matter, but also when you put like three hours into something. 
you, you kind of want it to do good. It hasn't been three hours. I want to say it was an hour originally. Also, this is longer than an hour. I just realized I'm going to have to do two, two again, which is going to suck. Spirit Halloween 2021 rare new build vibes flagship. <laughs> I still remember that. That was fun. And I get to go again next year, probably. If anyone enjoys the, the Halloween of Spirit and is decently close to Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, you should go to Flagship next year when they open. Because that'd be fun. I don't think I have that many, like, Spirit fans on here. Really only people from Discord. The Discord... Discord dudes? Decoration dudes? Discord dudes? Sure, we'll go with that. That works, too. They're both D. Which is kind of the whole point of decoration, dudes. I feel I, I was thinking about this earlier. I feel like I should rename this channel. <laughs> I'm not gonna, because... That's, that would throw more people off than it would um, make happy, but, you know, it just, it's a thought. Although, also, I'm about as creative as a sack of potatoes, so. Uh. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's not bad, it's just, it doesn't have something to it that's like, uh, it, it doesn't have anything that stands out to it, you know? Alrighty, that was a whole lot of unfun. Now we have a grid shape, which I... <laughs> Anyone want to play the world's largest game of tic-tac-toe ever? <laughs> I actually kind of want to do that now. I, I want to do this in Minecraft. Tic-tac-toe in Minecraft. I should do that with someone. That's actually, like, possible. It's a thing that's possible. And uh, we should do it. So, the order we're going to do this in is we're going to do uh, kitchen, storage, uh, back room thingy that's scary, bathrooms, uh, probably stage, because I want to get that out of the way, because that'll be pain, and then um, in the main area. I'm only saying the stage is going to be pain, because it's a lot, I mean a lot of coloring of leather gear. And I need to check and see which ones have overlapping colors of the same. So like, are there two that have the, the two that have a white cap? Then I'll just you know say okay, do both these. But yeah, things like that. Also, if you have an armor stand limit, then just use uh, whole blocks. I'm just gonna say that right now. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna make another cut because uh, I'm paranoid for some reason. And uh, yeah. Alrighty. So what you're going to need. It you want to come into your kitchen, and what you need is to start off or to finish. I actually don't know. I'm assuming not, but we'll see. Cyan terracotta. This isn't as big of a kitchen as normal. Smooth quartz blocks. I forgot something important. Birch door. I'll tell you later. Not later in like um, two minutes. Not even. Smoker. If I keep rambling, it'll be two minutes. Iron trap door. Cobblestone stairs. Um, cauldron. Oh, I see why it's not as many. Never mind. Okay. Lever. And we'll go with oak wood planks. You do also need compost, but we can actually just do that all later. So, what you want to do is come to the left side and you want to count to the third terracotta back and moving back. You want to place two smooth quartz blocks. Cyan terracotta. Two smooth quartz blocks. Two cyan terracotta. And then move right with... I have zero idea what this number is. Seven smokers. Basically the entire room. Cyan terracotta. I keep kicking something with my foot, darn it. Another one moving forward. Two cauldrons. Cyan terracotta. Skip past the door and then two cyan terracotta. You have a gap there. That'll be where your composter goes. Spoiler alert. Uh, above each cauldron, place a lever. Above each smooth quartz block, place one more smooth quartz block with a birch door in front of those. 
And then on top of each smoker, place an iron trap door. And then on top of each iron trap door, place a cobblestone stair. Preferably having the end to uh, curl in. Actually, let me see. I don't know if you want to do that, because then you're going to have this. And that might be what you want. Not the little gap. Just make it connect to the uh, thingies. Which we're going to add now. So basically, above... Leave a one block out going above each counter block or just go directly on top of a fridge if that's what you have to do. And you just want to place uh, oakwood planks. Don't go any further than they go, though. Uh, except for here, because that does have a gap. Uh, and then you do want to go above the door. But don't go further on the left side. Wait, do you want to? Yeah, you do want to go further on the left side. Sorry. But yeah, just like that. And then we'll return to here later. So... You can keep your oakwood planks and get out oakwood slabs and oakwood stairs. And come through your spruce door and you're going to be faced with another door. So with that door, you want to place an oakwood stair kind of moving down from it. So you have a step down and then you run into a wall if you're not being careful. Bring each oakwood stair or bring that each. There's only one. Bring that oakwood stair forward and backward by one, making sure each one curves into this wall here. Or not. It doesn't matter. Or you could do the other way. I wouldn't do the other way though, because if someone's trying to make a sharp sharp turn and not run into a wall, yeah, and you know, they can do that now. But if there's a little like if it's like that, then they're gonna jump and that might not be fun if they're wearing a Chucky costume. I don't know what they're doing. Or Chuck Chucky cheese, not Chucky. Chucky's different. Um, so, what you want to do is, along each wall, along, like, this corner, I don't know if you want to take the corner that sharply, though. I think I did. Let me see. I'm too lazy, but let me see anyways. I didn't. So, I left a two-block out from this corner, and I placed the row of oakwood planks moving all the way to the ceiling. And I also broke the upside-down smooth quartz slab in the ceiling I placed with an oakwood plank. And I placed one along the front and the back of this wall over here. Sorry if you cannot see. Hang on, let me get a, just like a random piece of glowstone on the floor. Let me just get a little, little line, actually, because we don't need the middle here. There we go, now you can see. I know that's a stupid way to do it. And then in the back left-hand corner as well. And then if you want to find a center point, what I, would, what I would actually do is just, like, this one, just bring this one across. Not Don't bring the entire thing across, but just line it up and have another one at the back. And then split that in half. I want to say it's the, the eighth block. So this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Is it eighth? No, it's seventh. Right? Yes. And then another pillar moving up on both sides. And I had to do that wrong. Okay. I am... <laughs> placing it everywhere except for where I want to. And then you can connect these together at the bottom row with upside down oak wood slabs. The third row up. And the fifth row, which will only leave you a half a block with between the ceiling and it, but it's something. I actually wouldn't connect it along the uh, far wall here. I just don't find that particularly necessary. Also, it just, I don't know, it makes it feel a little bit creepy. If you want to lighten it up, obviously, go ahead. I just wanted to make it a little bit spooky. After all, Halloween is either in two days or in today. Again, I don't know when you're going to be seeing this. I just put question marks at the end of everything at this point with dates. Uh, but yeah, you should have this or something like it. Obviously, you don't need to have exactly this, but that goes with all my builds. When I'm doing interiors, it does get interesting, though, because you want at least the size that I have. And then sometimes the size will matter, and sometimes it won't. So, I'd say this is one of them where it doesn't matter a ton, although it doesn't matter if you want to center the stage. That is your kitchen and back room done, except for the trash can. So, actually, you can get out a composter and an oak trap door. Actually, get out, like, as many as you can if you're in survival. And then just place your composter with an oak trap door in the corner here. Uh, I would place one in each corner of this room. Um, except for the front left, because the front, or front right, sorry, I keep getting those confused for some reason. Because the front right has the door, and you don't want to walk into a trash can when you, <laughs> when you open a door. And then I would place one also in either bathroom in the front. We'll say right corner, it doesn't really matter enough for me to be like, you have to place it here. I'm never like, you have to place it here. I just give you the instructions that I know th are, I know, that I know look good enough. I'll say, because, um, you'll see later. <laughs> so, for the bathrooms, you want to get out dark oak wood signs. They don't have wood in their names, whatever. 
Bone Meal, Glowing Sack, um, Smooth Quartz Blocks, Smooth Quartz Stairs, Birch Trap Door, Lever, where is Lever, hello, there you are, and Cauldron. So, come to either door and not the white terracotta directly above them, but one more up you want to place a sign above either. I would do men being the left one and women being the right one, just because there's double, not that, just because there's double layered wall here, which we'll make use of. I did it two blocks above because of the weird, like, cart looking thingies in front. I just wanted to make sure you could read it. And I left click with bone meal and glowing sex. Sorry, I didn't say that. And that will give you this fancy dan effect. Fan fancy dancy? Is that a... Is dancy a word? Dancy is a word. Not in the context I'm using it in, but, I mean, well, it still is a word. It just doesn't work in that context. There we go. That's better. So, in either bathroom, for the most part, we're going to do the same thing. I'll tell you what to do when that's the same to start. So, you want to come to the back center and place a smooth quartz block. Bring it forward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Bring that stair up with a birch trap door. Bring that trap door back with a smooth quartz block, and then bring that block left with a lever. And then somewhere along, maybe the low, actually no, right wall. Do it on the right wall. Um, especially in the men's bathroom. Place a culture with a lever above it, flick down. I just left a two block out from the trash can. And then women's, it actually doesn't matter. I'm going to put it in the front right for the women's. And then also the, uh, kind of the important thing, you know, the thing that everyone needs sometimes. And then, once you have the same, both come back in the men's. And somewhere along the front-ish side, I would break... Maybe I'll, I'll go fourth block in, and I would break uh, two blocks so you can basically fit in the wall, and then break the gray concrete in the floor. Not not under it, but like kind of in the extra where it like noticeable. So patch up the wall, smooth quartz blocks, and you should still have a gap there is, that is visible. Not under them, but like f down dag and look to the right, and then place a smooth quartz block in that. I cannot speak. Goodness gracious. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you should have the eye. Oh, I was like, wait, why did that? Why was that open? I didn't think that was open, but it was because I flicked the lever on the other side of that wall. It's kind of funny. Um, now, for the fun part. Get out armor stands. And that's really all. Although, clear inventory first, if you, especially if you grab grabbed observers like I did. Where are, I can never, it, it, give me like 20 minutes there. I don't know why I can never find armor stands. I expect them. I want them. I want to think they're in equipment. I want them to be in equipment, but they aren't. And it screws me over sometimes. Not always, sometimes. Uh, so what you want to do is from one of the pillar quartz blocks. Doesn't really matter which one. You want to move four dag and look to the right by two and place an armor stand. Leave a, what is it, two block gap? Place another armor stand. Two block gap, another one. Two block gap, another one. Two block gap, another one. That's moving right, by the way, or left if you reversed it. And then that should give you this. And now we have five little nerds chilling on the stage. Also, something I forgot to mention. That dude, I believe. Let me check. I have it pulled up still. I know I still have it pulled up. Okay, I also have pumpkin stuff, which wasn't... Yeah, middle guy. He's got like a little... I don't know. It looks like an air hockey table. Um, you just place a gray concrete with a purple carpet on top. Maybe. Or cyan terracotta with a purple carpet on top. I don't know. Did I close it? I didn't. Okay. Uh, I'd say cyan terracotta with, like, black carpet or something. Something like that. But, what you want to do is, I would get a ton of cauldrons and just fill them with water. Just place, like, a line of them going across the room. Because we're going to need a ton of different dyes. Like, that's overkill, but why not, right? How many is this? This is going to be more than a stack of buckets, I think, because buckets are in 16 stacks, correct? Yep, I knew it. How many was it? 19, that's not bad. So, what you now want to do is... Is that gray? That is gray. Okay, so... For starters, what you want to do is... One sec. Grab four pairs of leather boots. And you're going to actually only need one white dye for this part. And then just left click with white dye in one of your cauldrons and make sure to dye each leather boot white. And then place it on the right four character. Don't 
wear them like I do. Actually, you only need one pair. What am I doing? You only need one of a color if you're in creative. I'm sorry. That was a waste. And then next up, I actually think they're all different from here. Yeah. So, uh, for the pants, uh, you do need four, five different pants for this, sorry. And then, actually, I would also grab a pair of boots, and what I would do is, I want to say it was one gray dye and one white dye, so I come into a different culture and gray dye, white dye, yes, and then maybe another, yeah, maybe, and then another gray dye, and then you can make those, make leather boots out of that, and also a leather, place it on the left character, and then leather cap. And also on the left character. That. I did not know that made that sound. Alright then. And then for the pants. You need. Uh, give me a sec. Black dye. Green dye. Yellow dye. Purple dye. I'm going to get rid of some pants. Blue dye. I think. Should. And we'll go gray dye. So I would make... What I would do is for the first one, just do gray. Just do gray, actually. Next one, just do black. Next one, do purple and then blue. Yeah. We're going to need that one again. Next one, do yellow. And then next one, do green. And then... Is it... Do we need... No, I don't think you want another color on that. I think you just want it to be green. And then you want green pants on the left guy, yellow pants on the guy to the right of him, um, purple pants on the next guy, gray, dark gray pants on the next guy, and then black pants on the far right guy. I'm sorry if this is confusing a little bit. I'm trying to do it in a way where it's easiest, and I think this is easiest. We're... I think we're going to be fine, actually, on the numbers. So. Now, what you can do is get out your... What are they called? Tunics. And you can get out... We already have those three... You can get out red. And I don't know if you need another color with it. Let me see. Maybe. Hang on. Do red... Bl so do... In the next one, do one red dye, one black dye, and then a red dye again. And that will give you... And that one will go on the... F okay, never mind. Actually, don't do anything with that. So you want to have on the... Far left guy, a dark purple chest plate. Guy to the right of him, a... Oops, a black chest plate. Guy to the right of him, a yellow chest plate. You can only... You can use one for this, actually. Guy to the right of him, a red... Or dark red chest plate. That is correct, I think. And then the guy to the right of him, a white chest plate, which is the far left golden, the first one that we needed. Alrighty. Next up, you can get out one leather cap, because that's all you're going to need. And get out... Um, is that one empty? No. You want to get out brown dye. What were the two? I forget what the two were. Orange dye and white dye. And then in the next two collisions, the first one that's empty, you want to place brown dye. And next one, you want to place an orange and then a white. And that'll give you this tan color. So the far left guy already's got, already has his helmet. Guy to the right of him wants to have a white helmet. To have a dark purple helmet. Guy to the right of him wants to have a brown helmet. And the guy to the right of him wants to have a tan helmet, being this last color, that kind of peachy look. And then once you've done that, you can remove all of your cauldrons, and there you go. That is the worst part of this build. And we have finished it. So, now... Okay, I'm just looking at the time. 
we're gonna have enough time, but I'm just trying to figure out how we want to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna make another cut, because, again, yeah, you know me at this point. I don't, I don't even have to say why. So, I already pulled up the menu. What you want to do is you want to, for the next step, get out red nether brick stairs. There goes my voice. Oakwood fence. White carpet. And we'll settle with that for now, I think. Yeah. Actually, no, get out nether brick block. Normal nether brick. And then normal nether brick stairs. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's been weird, because I was at a hockey game yesterday that almost threw my voice out. It was fine today, which is good. And then... Sorry, now this. And I have another hockey game tomorrow, which will be... I think today you're seeing this. Again, Friday. It'll either be last... The Friday that just happened two days ago, or the Friday that's today. Um, But yeah. So what you want to do is you want to come to the front left hand corner and behind this compost you want to place two nether brick, red nether brick stairs. Leave a two block gap, place two more. Two block gap, two more, I left a one block gap. Two block gap, two more, two block gap, two more. Bring each one right with two oak fence. And then a red nether brick stair that is facing left. And then a red nether brick stair that is facing right. Two oak fence. We're going to start cutting off ones now. And then red nether brick stairs facing left. I know my directions, I swear. And then... You want to place the end of the brick stairs facing right on all of them, except for the far back ones. So you just want to have the front, what is it, four? Three, sorry. No, it is four. I can count. Then two oak fence. Right of the brick stairs facing left. And then you want to come to the second one back, which is this one. And you want to only on this one bring, place two red nether brick stairs facing right. Two oak fence. Two red nether brick stairs facing left. Oops. Or one facing, I guess. Two facing right. Then your two oak fence. If I'm, okay, I'm explaining this really stupidly. And then two red nether brick fence. Or two, one red nether brick stair facing into that. So you should have this. I know my instructions were terrible because I kept saying two. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, it should look like this. And then now what you want to do is you want to leave a one block out from this and place a little set of another brick stairs. And bring each one left with... Right, sorry, not left. Right with... Hang on, I'll get there. Is it seven? Seven oak fence. And then a set of red nether brick stairs. And then the middle one, you can place a red nether brick stair in front of and behind, and then the center of the sides, basically. So you should have this. We're almost there. And then you want to place white carpet on top of all of your oak fence. Hopefully. If you can, if I can place them right, goodness. I mean, you still can, but I can't. If... <laughs> If you want me to finish, if you want me to help you finish the build, uh, I think we got an issue. That's when I just rage quit and say, you know what, I'm not placing these carpets. These carpets can stay done. Although, uh, I've played this game enough to the point where, like, I can go a good amount of time without making a mistake, as you can see right here. I mean, it still happens, it happens to everyone, and it's a game where the sensitivity doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was, I'd gone so long, too. I think I made one, like, around here somewhere, and I'd gotten all those without making a mistake. And it was, of course, the last carpet I needed to place. So... Oh, that hurt. So... I, like, stabbed myself on accident. Because I had an itch. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, never mind. Um, don't worry about it. So, what shall we do? I know what we should do. Basically, on the free windows here at the back, the free, not the three, the free ones, these two, three sets, 
I'm gonna place a nether brick block kind of to the side of the window. I guess there. Bring each nether brick up with a nether brick stair and then an upside down nether brick stair. Do it the same with this window here on the right side. Just like that. And then that will lead into the next step, which is actually almost done. It's, all, it's, the, it's the almost done step, guys. So. You can clear inventory, I think, one more time and get out. Red concrete. Glass panes. Uh, red nether brick stairs. Red nether brick slabs. I'll talk about that later because that does look a little bit weird in my opinion. Stone brick walls. Smooth stone slabs. Lime and light blue concrete. And we'll go nether brick fan. Of course, we're, we're literally... We are literally one material short. One. <laughs> Why? We literally only need paintings and we're done the build. So, what you want to do is you want to leave a two or a one block app from this uh, arcade machine here. I'm going to leave a one block app. And you want to place three red concrete moving up. Bring each one right with a glass pane. Sorry, left with a left with a glass pane. Back with a glass pane. Left with a glass pane. Back with a glass pane. Then count. Hang on, I'll get there someday. Then count back two and right one and place glass pane make sure it's three tall again and then place red concrete to the right of it you can indeed access this i mean you could do this even and you can still access it or even this and you can still access it it's up to you i'm gonna just leave it as that though you don't want to place upside down red nether brick stairs on top of this all the panes and then where there should be panes so it should give you this and i would fill in the center of this in with red nether brick blocks which you can just use the slabs for and then trim the top of this with red nether brick slabs, which you don't have to do. Uh, I still would, but, you know, not necessary. That does look a little bit weird. I couldn't figure out how I wanted it to look, so I just went with that. It's supposed to be a little ticket thing where you close the thing and tickets fly. I used to be scared of that. Fun fact. <laughs> that, I never wanted to go in those because they always scared me. I'm not scared of them anymore. Don't worry. Although I have, I have not been to Chuck E. Cheese in five, at least five years, more than five years. I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese for as long as I can remember. So, what you want to do now is, you have two birch doors. You want to come to the right one, uh, which should be the women's bathroom for you. Although, it could be different. You then want to leave a three block out from the door and you want to place two stone brick walls. Bring each stone brick wall up with a smooth stone slab. Place a lime concrete on every single s on every single side of the smooth stone slab, at least um, horizontally, and then place one left and right of this back block. So you have this shape. It's a, like a um, happy guy. If you give him eyes, he's happy, really happy. And then you can place another brick fence on the front here. That's what you should have. Then what you want to do is you want to come to the other door and you want to count right by one and then back by th three, four, and you want to place two stone brick walls. Bring each one up with a smooth stone slab and then again surround your smooth stone slabs in light blue concrete, except for the corners. Leave the corners out and then, and then make sure you place the back two corners. And then another brick fence at the front. I didn't make these slightly misaligned on purpose originally. I was going to have them in line, but I wanted to give a little bit more space back there. So I decided to push them around and give you this. And then you can now clear inventory and get out paintings. And just place a painting on the back side of each other brick fence. So these two guys are gaming or whatever. I don't know. They're like, like this, it's like supposed to be the little flyy things, you know? The things that you fly with. Also, looking at it now... Let me find the photo. One sec. Oh, that's wrong, actually. It's not supposed to be this one. It's supposed to be that row. So if you wanted to switch it or, like, I don't know, maybe have some of them or whatever, 
it doesn't matter, but I'm noticing there's a lot of space, and I was like, that feels weird. And not right. But, um, yeah, so if you want to move that, you can. You don't have to. It doesn't matter enough for me to be like, move it right now. But, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is supposed to be on that one. I just thought it was a different one, because, uh, apparently my eyes don't work. But, um, yeah, once we're done, it, ladies and gentlemen, that is the interior for your Chuck E. Cheese complete. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, because that one was a doozy. But yeah, thank you guys so much guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Peace.